Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio Workshop video. As always, I'm here with Zuri. Greetings. So today we are going to uh, go over kind of an analog power switch here that was actually built in the uh, Factorio server map for my YouTube subs. Um, someone built it and Zuri saw it and you liked it enough to actually memorize it. So... Um, I also modified it a little bit, but you know, that's all good. Yeah, a little bit modified, but... I'm going to let Zuri take over here. It's uh, actually fairly straightforward. Um, and if you understand circuit stuff and combinators, then it'll be super straightforward. But, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll let you go ahead and get into it. First things first, this little thing here is just a clock. All it does is count up to from 0 to 59. Right. So that that's output down to these two combinators down here. The one on the left is, all it does is delay the signal and change it to a 1. Right. And then this decider says if they're ever equal, I'll put the red. You know, the red signal bad. If it's red, we need power back up. And then moving back here, this bottom one adds one tick delay or one calculation tick. And the second one adds a second tick delay. Just to hold on the signal longer. That reduces a little bit the cycling you see. So the thing is, this power pole is an independent power network. It powers the clock and the delays and is powered through this accumulator. Right. Since there's a little extra draw on this power network, this independent one, then the accumulators in the main base, this will empty first, and then these slow down or turn off completely, and then this should close. Um, I think you just forgot a condition on it when you moved it. Oh, darn it. it yeah, when you shift-click it, it um, removes the wire instead of copying conditions, evidently. Yeah, so just a little mishap there. We had to move this this power switch, but um, it will be uh, demonstrated here in a second. What what um what we've done really quick is we just built another little clock here to cycle our solar on and off because um, something important to note is this is really should only be used if you're running off of solar and accumulators for your main power, and then to have a steam power backup. Um, we had to do some some fancy um, like rigging um, because normally our our normal power is actually steam engines which kind of messes with stuff um, so we kind of had to like cycle our solar on and off because this is our test world it's always day so we have to simulate the day night cycle yeah exactly so right now the solars are on and they're charging our accumulators um, but once it turns off it cycles on for a minute and then off for a minute once they turn off, the accumulators will drain, and then this should kick on. Um, and you can actually see the process in action. Um, and it looks like they just did. So in a minute here, once the accumulators get low, this will turn on and be our backup power. Um, and then for this, you're just doing is uh, red signal is greater than zero. Yeah, that's the condition we needed. And for some reason, like I said, you can't copy and paste certain conditions on the power switches. It just removes the wires. Right kind of frustrating but uh and there you go boom they kicked on because our accumulators were low um and actually the accumulator is still draining this isn't quite enough power um to run the base and charge the accumulators but again the concept still applies it would work much better for you if you were on solar accumulator as your main power to begin with and um and yeah, and then once the solar kicks on, this will turn off. Um, just a few clarifications. So on your power switch, you have if red is greater than zero. So that condition's met because when we run out of power, um, this is like constantly outputting red, right? Well, this the top clock slows down. So it'll hold the same signal for two seconds instead of counting up every game tick. And this constantly powered one down here 
will delay it by a game tick, and this compares it. Right. Again, the bombs are always always powered, or should be always powered. I should put like a. We could make this independent and put a solar panel on it or something, or overlap some power for these to make sure these two always get power. Right. But uh, okay, I see. So so yeah, guys. So essentially, this compares it. So um, when you don't have power, this will output a red signal at the count of one, which is obviously greater than zero. Um, so that's what's triggering this, and then these two just delay it, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's really pretty straightforward, and it seems to work quite well. Would work even better, um, obviously, again, if you had solar and accumulator main power, but, uh, yeah, I think, I mean, is there anything else to really go over for this, Zuri? No, I think that just about covers it. These, uh, the two delay signals are in the the low power zone so that they receive the signal and they hold the signal red on longer and it's set to greater than zero because let's say this one's outputting a one and this one's outputting a one the wire sums it so you're actually getting a two red signal on the switch to keep it on okay yeah so that just keeps it on a little bit longer um and then, yeah, I mean, so just, uh, you know, the uh, constant dude doesn't even need power, which is quite nice. Um, just make sure, again, as Zuri went over, that your clock part is in the this little separate um, power thing, or non-power, rather, kind of. Um, and so are these, which is powered by your accumulator. And then this part needs to be in your main power grid, as well as the accumulator. So make sure you disconnect these two poles. Um so he can get charged and then they draw power from that. And your power switch um, just connects to your backup power and then connects to your main grid and then connects to your last combinator here. Not the accumulator, it goes over it, but it's not connected. And, uh, and yeah, I think that's it. It's a really neat little setup, really, really great for the backup power. So um, kind of just another option. I know previously we went over another power switch someone submitted. Um, this is just a little bit different. And, uh, and I think that'll do it, guys. We, we'll get back, um, in the next several videos, we'll get back to going over your guys' submissions. There's quite a few now, but there were these few things we wanted to go over. And, uh, and yeah, unless you have any last thoughts or anything, Zuri, I think that'll do it. Nope. Catch you later. Alright, awesome, guys. Until next time, we will see you later.